Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I'm doing a little bit of adjustment down here uh, because none of these trains, uh, the, the two trains down here, I didn't have set up to run two locomotives. Um, I think that should work, though. Um, that should put you in good shape. And uh, I adjusted the... Uh, this isn't right. I think I made a last-minute adjustment there and did not adjust the inserters. Uh, that'll fit in right there. And I was able to move the RoboPort up a little bit. Uh, let's see. You're going to be a problem. Uh, now you're not a problem. All right. And I also made an adjustment uh, to the copper station as well as the iron station. I increased that to uh, six. Uh, just to have an even number of cars. And on the iron side of things, I increased that to eight uh, to make that an even number of cars. Uh, I want to take a blueprint of this facility now uh, because I want to do a little bit of measuring and uh, see exactly where it is that I would like this facility to go in the base. Um, in between episodes, I did a little bit of work. I wasn't feeling too great uh, this weekend. I didn't get a lot of recording done. Uh, but I still wanted to play, uh, so I did. And I figured that would do, be a really good time. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. One, nine, two. There we go. That works. Uh, we have the station names. We have the modules. That is our facility. Uh, so, yeah, I thought, hey, you know what? We haven't done this series, uh, and, and even the series before it, is a good old-fashioned time-lapse. Uh, so, uh, let's do it. Yeah, for now, I think we've got the western end of our base secured. Uh, there was a great spot for a little choke point down here. Uh, we have one over here on the western wall and one over here on the north. I took this up a little bit just so we could grab this uh, 504 million iron. Uh, probably not going to be, I, I don't know how much of a big deal that's going to be, but I wanted to go ahead and think about it. Um, I did a little bit of clearing over here, but did not, uh, did not finish the job. Uh, the wall just seems, the wall locations just seem like they're going to be very long. Uh, so I want to do a little bit more exploring up here to see if we can find another, some, some of these prime choke points, uh, that this map looks very good at giving us. 
Um, I guess it's possible to run like one up through there and across there, but it just seems like a very long way to build a wall and uh, not not overly excited about that. Uh, but for now, let's see, we are at the main base. Um, did I grab some rocket fuel? I meant to grab some rocket fuel. I did grab some rocket fuel. Let's head up in... Uh, let's see, I need to be in the train to do that. Uh, let's head up in this general direction and uh, see if we can't find a good spot to put our science facility. Uh, this thing's going to be big, uh, but not not too big, I don't think. Uh, we just need to kind of establish some uh, ground rules here, uh, establish some perimeters here on where we want to keep it. Um, and the first thing that I want to go look at, let's use the car here, is uh, this oil patch up here. Because I think I want to use that oil patch as our upper bound uh, for this facility. Now, where is that oil patch? Ooh, can we take you guys out? I think we can. Boy, that was quick with the car. I should have been using the car. I mean, it, it, it can take a lot more damage, but it's a lot quicker, so it doesn't hang out in the acid spills as long. Hmm. Not only that, but it's nice and cheap. Um, all right, so here's our oil patch. Um, I'm guessing this is probably the southernmost uh, thing here. So let's um, uh, probably want to do that. And uh, boy, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Um, there's not going to be any good way to do this, is there? Uh, how do you place big blueprints? <laughs> um, all right. So there's our car there. Okay. I can, I can kind of see, I can kind of see there. All right. Um, that right there. Okay. I'm going to turn off my robots real quick. Uh, where's the oil? Right there. Uh, so I'm guessing that maybe that right there would give us enough room to put a pump jack on that guy right there. And it appears the answer to that is yes. All right. And uh, let's see. What is... Uh, yeah, turn off Ghost Placer Express so we don't uh, we don't place that stuff. All right, so I wanted to lay that down because I'm what what I'm interested in getting is this line right here. Uh, and everything else I'm I'm not interested in. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Let's uh, set up another one of these. We want only... Uh, what is it? Entity ghosts? Entity ghosts. Right? Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, we'll we're, we're just we're just measuring stuff out right now is uh, is, is what we were doing. Um. So, yeah, I've been thinking a little bit about uh, about about. How 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 we want to do this? Um, and I was I was playing a little bit with the numbers. Uh, I mean, I think we could do a lot more, but but practically, I think the the target I'm going to shoot for, uh, we have we have these modules, and then I want to make modules of these modules. And the number that I'm looking at right now, I think, is five. Um, five of them would give us 960 science a minute, which is pretty close to a thousand. 
uh, which is a, a respectable goal to go for. And uh, I think I want to do that. And I should have a car in here somewhere, right? Did I, did I park my car in the trees? I thought I did. Ah, yeah, there you are. Um, all right, so we want five of them in a module. Um, that goes from there to there. Boy, this space just looks perfect for it. Um, I, I think I'm going to run over here to where this is, or do we want to run over here? Yeah, I think I'm going to run over here to where this iron is. Um, let's get out of our car. Uh, let's place our car on the tracks. Uh, and the reason why I did that is so that it will snap to that angle. Uh, let's get this guy. I want you... Uh, trees and rocks only. Uh, so we can go through here. And let's just run this... This way. Oh, is that going to... Yeah, no, that's what I was worried about. Right in the clear, though, this is a, a fairly efficient way to lay some rail. Hello, <laughs> go through a uh, <laughs> go through a worm there. Um, are we getting close? Okay, there it is, right there. All right, so that would be our our westernmost bound. Uh, can we see that patch? That patch is right there. Uh, so let's again turn off our robots, and we want to try to line up the bottom of this with that rail. Is that going to be something that we can do? I think we can pull it off. I think this right here is what we want all right and i want to group these in groups of five so um that will be one oh um hmm um okay so that goes out to that spot right there. I'm uh, looking at the orange up north uh, where the uh, RoboPort uh, logistic coverage covers uh, because I don't want that to overlap this side and, uh, and cause something bad to happen. Um, I think if I recall correctly, let's take a look down here. Wait a minute. What are we what are we looking at here? What part are we looking at? We are looking at um, okay, so that is going to be the top of this setup down here. Oh, and I unplugged it so I can't see it. Um let's turn on Roboport range. Um, okay, so it's just inside that track right there. And this one goes well beyond it. Uh, so we need to make it where um, basically that. So if, like, the track was on that log, like, that distance right there would work. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would work. Uh, that is one... Uh, let's let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, eleven over, 
And this is going to be in line with that. Boy, I wish I could see this down here. It's just a little bit too tall. Okay, so that's in line there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right there. Uh, no. Uh, one. Maybe I started there. Uh, that would make sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's lined up on the bottom, and that's where we want it to be right there. Okay, so that'll be two of these setups. Uh, so, so I guess it'd be 12 all day uh, is how many spaces we need to do there. Uh, get that lined up there. Move that over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There. And uh, that is three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, that is for. All right, and uh, we're going to have to clear all this out here uh, so that I can walk straight, uh, turn robots back off, uh, line it up on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so that will come out to right here. And the size of our module is from basically here to here. That is actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. All right, so um, yeah, we have that module there. Uh, we can take this down and just keep going down this way uh, indefinitely until we're bored and don't want to make science anymore. Uh, we will probably have to cover up this iron ore and this uranium. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't have any problem with that. And this copper is going to have to move, but this copper is uh, uh, probably needing to move anyway. We can, we can go right over that. Uh, but first, uh, we, we need to get this one up and running. Uh, we don't need to be uh, celebrating quite yet and planning out the big giant base we're going to make when we don't even have one of these modules uh, made yet. Um, all right, let's uh, flip you back to Entity Ghosts. Actually, I was going to destroy all that, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, we're not going to build all this uh, uh, starting out. Uh, I Actually, what I want to do is um, get... Um, we're going to have to... We're going to need a station that's going to come in and basically feed these guys. Uh, and by feed these guys, I mean give them iron and, and copper. And uh, what, what I'm wanting to do is... Um, Instead of ha so each one of these uh, modules is going to have basically four trains associated with it, 
And I mean, we could say, you know, the iron train for this first module, I want you to go up here and get, get iron from up there or just over here and get iron from over there. And, and that would be, that would be fine. And the second one, you do that one. The third one, you do this one up here. Uh, we might have to get into multiple trains and stuff like that on this small, short little network, uh, which is something I'm not. I don't think I'm interested in doing. I, I think what I want to do is take basically this line right here and make it a self-contained rail network that uh, basically only has those trains in it and then feed that uh, from stations that are on the outside of that network uh, fed from, from an external train. Um, so basically we've got, we've got all these coming through here. Uh, this is our last one, I think. No, we've got one more. Forgot how big these things are. All right, so we're coming. We're coming this area right here. Uh, this rail moves on. Uh, this rail moves on. And then somewhere. I guess in this general vicinity. Uh, let's see. That's going to be the exit. Going to bring that in probably... Uh, let's do it as close as possible while we can. Uh, so that comes around here and will connect up to you. Okay, and uh, this will be our exit coming out. And uh, basically, this rail will come up this way, and then we'll branch off here and, like, have an area that's uh, a station for... Uh, let's see. Do we have all those set to lasers? We do. Ah, it keeps moving. Stop moving. There we go. Yeah, so we'd have a station coming out here that would basically feed in iron. Um, uh, one that would do copper, one that would do stone and coal, one that would do oil over on this side. And uh, then uh, that would be fed from a separate uh, network on this side that's going to be supplying things like coal and, and iron ore. Um, but but it's going to be connected to an outside uh outside rail network that goes to the individual ore patches. Uh, so that means that if we start running out of uh, an ore patch, we don't have to worry about reassigning the individual trains. Uh, we can just assign the supply trains, and this will allow us to have much bigger trains uh, coming in and supplying these guys than what we actually need. Um, so let's see, that's going to come in like right here. So just as an example, uh, let's grab our station rail book. Uh, we are going to have five trains. Um, so a stacker kind of like this would work. Uh, then yeah, that would, that would just come down here. We would have, uh, are we out of, are we out of rail? Yeah, we're completely out of rail. 
Uh, so yeah, we make a couple of iron stations here. That will exit out and go onto this line. Uh, that's not going to work because we've got an iron patch right there. How convenient. We could we could even supply this first module. We don't even need trains. Um, that's a double win. Yeah, so, so basically stations off the side here. Uh, one for iron, one for copper, one for stone, one for our fluids. And then the individual trains will come in and pick them up and then go out that way and uh, supply them, and they'll just loop back and forth. I, I, I'm hoping this is going to work. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm hoping. <laughs> we'll just see. And I, I'm wanting to keep the number of these modules down. I, I was originally thinking maybe 10, but then I got to thinking maybe that might be a problem. Uh, we're going to have too much traffic on the rails uh, going back and forth. And these trains are going to be rather large. Uh, so so that could also be a consideration with, with slowing down and stopping and, and things getting blocked. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. Um, not much happening in this episode. I apologize for that. We needed to we needed to do a little bit of measuring, uh, just to, to to see where that's going to fit. I think that's going to work out okay. Uh, we just need to get our stations going on the side, and uh, get everything in here built. Uh, get it plugged in. Get the resources plugged in, and we should be uh, we should be off to testing. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where we will get some of that done. Thank you for watching. See you next time.